Hello, this is Lad May with Western Computer to reconcile inventory using the inventory value report storage tool. We'll take a look at the function of inventory value report storage. Then we'll go through the four steps involved in getting you from configuration to reconciling inventory. The inventory value report storage tool replaces the legacy inventory value report process in the inventory management module. This new module is in cost management. The advantage to having this report storage tool is that the results can be viewed and exported to various formats, including Excel and CSV. It provides a way for you to look at an enormous number of inventory records using external tools. The first step is to configure the inventory value report in cost management. So let's take a look at that in the system. I have one prepared here that we'll take a look at, and you will notice right away that this form looks just like the one that was launched from inventory management. This one was, of course, launched from cost management, and it behaves a little differently. What I've noticed is that most anything in this, on the left column, the left side of the page here, I'm going to get these values regardless of whether I select them here or not. The system is not going to give me any totals with regard to accounts. What is important is to select the inventory dimensions that I need for my cost evaluation. For example, if I'm keeping costs by inventory site, then I need to have that selected here in my view. So those values will show up on the report. I also need to select my resource ID and resource group to view those values. And the final important value is the details level down here where I can select totals or transactions. I'll leave it at totals. If I select transactions, I will have a whole lot more on my report that I want to see. Now that I've configured my report, let's move on to the next step. Step two is to add and run that report in inventory value report storage. So let's take a look at that in the system. In cost management, I have pulled up inventory value report storage, and you can see a list of the reports I've been working with. I'm going to add a new report. And over here, I will define a unique value for my process identifier. I will link back to the configuration that we did in the previous step. And I'll select my dates, in this case, for the previous period. When I click OK, there's a message that says the inventory value job is added to the batch queue. When the batch is finished, I can see the report here in the column on the left. If I click View Details, I will see a preview only of this report. And this is by no means a representation of all the columns on the report. The actual report has far more columns and many more rows. So now that we've run our report and we've seen a preview of the results, let's move on to the next step, which will be to export the report using data management. So let's look at that in the system. Here I've come to data management and I'm going to do an export job. In this case, I've already started an export job, so I'm just going to load that project. And you can see that I have started an export job with an entity of inventory value. Inventory value is my data entity. I need to do one other thing to the line. I need to go to the filter column and filter by the report that I want to see. I'll click OK and export. The export runs. And once it's finished, I have a form here telling me that 173 records were exported. I will download that data package. 
and open it. And here is my report with 49 columns of data. If I look a little more closely at that, that's a lot of numbers. So let's do this. Okay, let's look at these columns a little more closely. I've got my COGS values here. I have my resource numbers and resource group. I have my deferred COGS. I have my inventory financial amounts. I have the breakdowns by financial and physical values. And I go a little further, I can see my site value and some of my other dimension values here that we brought in. And finally, I have my WIP values in this column as well. Now that we have our report, we can move on to the process of reconciling inventory. And here I would run my trial balance reports and begin comparing against the data that I just exported. So that is a rundown of the four steps involved in reconciling inventory using the inventory value report storage tool. I thank you for joining us today. If you need more information, please contact us at the email on the screen or the phone number, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks very much.